Welcome to the Terrible Children. We are going to find out, is Dark Cloud still fun? Now, this game is like my childhood. I love this game. This game is everything to me. It, w it was the reason for the PS2 existing. This game right here. I mean, this is adventure. This is what it's all about right here. Wow. And when I found out that it was on the PlayStation 4 store to download, I didn't even hesitate. I downloaded that thing, and I never really got a chance to play the whole thing, but I might be doing that now, so let's wait and see. But for now, we're going to find out, is Dark Cloud a game which is from, I think, like 2001? Anyway, it's really old really old one of the first games for the ps2 is it still fun that is what we're going to find out today first language which one i'll pick english i'm feeling adventurous today sce.com -E that's when they used to ha advertise all their games on sce.com now i think it's just playstation.com Oh, there we are, the big citadel, which I believe is where the Dark Genie lurks. And that music is playing. I, I am going to mark out so much for this game, and I am going to be doing crazy voiceovers for everybody. So if you don't like stupid voiceovers, then you might as well stop watching right now. Oh, the start button is different now. Dark Cloud. Oh yeah. Yeah, 2001 I was right the first time. Press start button. And I am going to start a new game. Didn't really check any of the options. Oh yeah. A book of... a book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. Sorry, Star Wars. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story, dot dot dot, do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is dot dot dot, I'm gonna give myself uh, my own name. Oh, this is so nostalgic. Even the button sounds and everything. Dark Shrine. Now this scene terrified me when I, I was a little wee boy. Oh shit, that's right. I, I don't have this on HD right now. Oh well, never mind. I've gathered quite a few of them. I had a hard time finding dancers with the right qualifications. Look at them. Their dance of blood. Mixing the blood of the witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Problems? In order to procure good material, you do need adequate... I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve the problem. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
So, when will it happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony till it is time. The legend of the dark genie is sealed in the air. Of course. How much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years. The power is all mine. Four hundred years ago, the genie of darkness appeared in yeast, and with its evil power, the world was burnt away. What do you int intend to do with such a frightening power in your hands? You'll see. Now is the time. Yes, sir, so it seems. I have my What? This is the Dark Genie? Well, it is quite different than I imagined. Dark Genie, this is it. Hey, who are you guys? Dot, dot, dot. Welcome back, Genie of Darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. Uh, is that right? Whatever. Fine. I don't care. Uh, yes, that's right. I haven't eaten in 400 years. Damn, where can I find food? Got you? What? Huh? Well, that's... no, stop it! Ow! I gotta tell you, as a little seven-year-old boy watching this, it terrified me. And I don't know why. Because I was seeing much worse stuff when I was seven years old. But, it did. Hi, how are you today? Doug, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Doug, it's already started. Come on, let's go. And if I have to repeat myself again, I'm going to be really pissed off. See, I told you, you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you. Doug, hurry up. All right, everybody's telling me what to do. At least I have a wife who...
Where's that boy Claude? I don't remember their names. Look at the insects squirm about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you start a game. But there's still more to go. Hi there! Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up! Hey! What? Who the... Ahem. <clears throat> I am the Fairy King. I'm the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revile, revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. It must be the men from the east that they are the ones who perform the resurrection ceremony. All bad guys come from the east. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war, without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness, pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us, spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, and also a clear, kind heart. You might be able to fight against the darkness that it generates. I decided to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with this power. There, surprised? That's called Atlamilia. It's a stone with a magical power. Uh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Do you know where this is? This is no simple em empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, 
Just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla, using the Atla Milia, and bring them back. Then, you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create a better world than before. Hmm, you don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Oh well, I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. So long! Doug, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, voices of the animals, and the voices of the earth. They're calling for your help. Doug, you will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to, to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Doug, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village chief house. He'll show you where to go next. Honestly, I'll say it again, because it just needs to be said. That is how you start a game. Doug, you're alive! Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never tripped this would happen. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Doug? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, and I can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? I guess the only thing we can do is get help from the guardian of Nolan Village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us, for sure. I have a favor to ask, Doug. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Dran what happened. The Divine Beast Cave is a cave outside towards your right-hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave, so be careful. This is the cave key. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here or get more supplies. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Just gonna go rummaging around. A spiky bug is coming out. Oh no. I got the prickly. I'm feeling pretty prickly. Alright, without further ado. I shall head out. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna yank us up to uh, 1080p. Oh, my bad. Alright, sweet.
What have I got on me? I have... I'm just looking for any excuse to savor the music. Don't you love this music? Key, water, red, repair powder, escape powder, antidote, and prickly, fishing bait. I have a dagger, and that's it. Here's my dagger. Alright, let's go. A big keyhole. You're a big keyhole. Oh yeah. Yeah, this music is getting serious. You know you're in trouble when you hear this. It was almost emotional the last level and you're you know that you're not gonna hear the music again. It's kinda like you're glad, you're glad when it's finally over. Cause this cave goes on for a long time. Oh, you again. It's for real this time, Doug. From here on you will be put to the true test. First conquer this wretched divine beast's cave and find the Dran's lair. That is your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. First, to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire a gate key for the door leading to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key. For the Divine Beast Cave, Dran's Crest will be the gate key. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to keep killing them all one by one. Next, I'll tell you about how to return to the ground level, rather than advancing to the next floor below. To return to the ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. It's as simple as that. When you do this, I will transport you, your body to the ground level. Just select Leave Dungeon from the main menu. But beware, if there are monsters left on the floor, the Mind Connect won't work. It will be blocked by their evil energies. In such cases, use the item Escape Powder to get out on your own. The Nolan Village Chief has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. You can also Mind Connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start at the next new level, so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next, it's on to weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable. The more you use a weapon, the more it wears, and finally it breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. To prevent weapons from breaking, use the item Repair Powder. It will restore the weapon hit points. The longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. It's, sa it's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength, it can change to a more powerful form, so keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on the dagger you have on, so it'll never disappear. But all the new weapons you will get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. Don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear. Finally, the important stuff. The Sphere Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of Atla into Atlamelia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you will be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson ran a little long. That's it for the lecture today. Now, Doug, show me your true ability on this quest. <laughs> He's just lost for words right now. He's like, well, I can't believe everything that I just heard. Now, let's go. Oh, there you are. All right, how do I look at him? Yes. Ha. Ah, didn't even get a... Him, what have I got? Another prickly. I've got so many of those pricklies, I can't wait to go fishing. Oh, skeleton soldier. I see. So you're taking it to the next level. Alright, I'm gonna do a power attack. 
Not gonna know what to hit you. Ooh, right there. Half your health gone. How do I block? I'm trying to remember how to block. Ah, yes. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Ah, another one. So you brought your friend to help you out, eh? Well, your friend's dead. Well, look, I don't know if it's a nostalgia token, but I'm having fun so far. I cannot not have fun with this game. Just because of all this meant for me. Everything that it means to me. And we have two Adler here. Alright, let's see what we get. Trees! Well, that's a good start. Always nice to have some trees. And I've got a chest. Magical crystal. Ah yes, the magical crystal tells you where everything is on the map. Alright, buddy. Bam. Come at me. Oh, I'm all the way over here. I'll do another power attack. Ah, hey, what the hell? I was supposed to do a power attack here. Well, he must feel pretty ridiculous right now. Fence. Okay, so I've got trees and fences. It's going to look very rural. Oh, bat. My least favorite. I need some bread. And there you go. I hate these bats. Ah! Can I do the flying attack? Oh no! That's why I'm poisoned. Yeah. Now I remember why I hate the bats so much. And there's another one. A map! Perfect! Here, take this. Covered from the poison state. So I have a dasher and another annoying bat to deal with. In fact, there's no reason for me to attack there. I don't need to go there, there's nothing there. I'm just gonna ignore them. Unless they have the Drowns Crest. If they do have the Drowns Crest, it's gonna be really annoying. Like, of all the people on the map, they could have had the Drowns Crest. It's not those people. Come on, Dasher. Dash at me. Didn't stand a sh And there's the Drowns Crest right there. Bad so no time. Oh, as this bat poisons me, uh, they only take two kills to, to kill, two 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 hits to kill, and I've got the drowns cook, Chris. All right, I'm almost done. And we're just gonna make it around this corner. Oh, ooh, a treasure chest. I love about this game is that there's so many, so much treasure. And it's so satisfying. At least it was satisfying back in the day. I mean, as a little seven-year-old nerdy kid, I, well, I still am a nerdy kid, but as a little seven-year-old kid, this game was everything that I ever wanted. Oh no, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my dagger. That's better. All right, back to killing monsters. Do I even need to kill you? No, I'm like, oh, oh. Ah, yes, that's why they call them dashes. Wow, they really can dash. Okay, if they... If they set your sights on you, then... Uh, then you might as well fight them. But... If you can, ignore them. And if you get dressed, Chris, then you can. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Trees, river, and fences. Kind of look like the true countryside. What's this? Ah, yes. Now, how does this work? I'm getting this. There is a tram with rusty wheels. Use item with square. I don't remember what I need to use. I think I need to use oil. Item. Uh, and drink that water. Uh, wait a minute. Ah, yes, I see. Still something on the bottom right, southeast that I need to take care of. 
Man, there's three people here. Three monsters. Alright, skeleton boy. Oh, I'm jumping back, I see. A little bit scared. I'd be scared too if I was just a skeleton. Not exactly a lot of guys here. And now you're dead. You're even more dead than you were before. Stand in powder. Ah, yes, I believe that relates to uh, allies. Pumped up with energy. Well, that's perfect. All right, this dasher doesn't stand a chance. Hey, oh, dashing away. I see. I see dash. Oh, oh, whoa! I really didn't expect that. Yes, I'm normally dashing away from you, but this time you uh, normally dashing towards me. But this time you're dashing away from me. Lamp. Well, that's 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 just great. I've got a lamp. I have a lamp, but now a house to put the road, and that's also good, so I can build roads. But now a house to put them there. Fence, more fences. There's going to be so many fences. There's going to be so many fences, folks. You don't know. You won't believe it. Not show's house. Oh goody, the first house. And I can't wait to build that house. I can't wait to get up there. And then the fun really begins. That was always my favorite part of the game. Building my little town. Boy, I have killed everything. And I do it all for the waifu. And the mother. Everybody else I don't care about. But as long as I get my mother back and my waifu, I shall be okay. And look at that, an Adela. But there's somebody protecting it. Sorry, skeleton. I just don't have the time. Macho. I'm gonna have to bid you a farewell. Now, I can't leave the dungeon. Wait. Yes, so I'm just going to leave this way. So all I'm going to do is build everything, and then I am going to get some more escape powder and get back to it. Whoa, exclamation mark. Ah, it's the Fairy King. Ha ha ha. Seems like you've finally came back with some Atla. Very well, then. I shall teach you as I promised. The pieces sealed inside Atla are released by touching the Atla with your left hand, where the power of Atla Milia resides. Buildings and people that were sucked into the Atlamilia will be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. And I seem you seem to be caught in a glitch. By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who was granted the power of Atlamilia. Please stop walking towards me. Now let's move on, this may get a bit technical. If you wanted to place buildings, press the select button while walking and go to the edit mode. Press the select button again to return to walking mode. In edit mode, you can re reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing, try it yourself. Must be faster than listening to my lecture. Yeah, you got that right. Oh yes, and if you ever forget the things I teach you, then use this. Manual acquired. It's a guide for using at Lamilia and other things. I wrote it for beginners like you. Manual can be selected from the main menu. Read it really carefully. Okay, I leave the world's reconstruction to you. 
I'll be watching. Ha 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 ha! So long. Again, he's, he's just really, really dumbfounded right now. He doesn't know what to think of all this. And only the other day he was eating soup in his mother's house without a care in the world. I'm gonna... Adventure Day 1, Dust. That makes it a bit quicker. Alrighty, Mr. Uh, Mayor. If you want me to go back to that dungeon, you're gonna have to cough up, cough up with some escape powder. This looks to be no easy task. I put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Be careful, okay? Thank you. Now let's get building. First thing first is we are going to have roads and we're going to have them aligned with the mayor's house. Oh. Hmm. But how? We'll have it like this. And then... We have... Trees. So let's have them. Uh, wherever. Along the road is always nice. The control. The control for PS4 isn't set up the right way. And. Uh, oh, another two pieces. Yeah. Move this tree over here. next to the river for now. And uh, then have the rest of the river just down here. Nice little river. And then we have Macho. And he can sit right next to the mirror. That's fine, I don't mind. And then we also have our show. So we're gonna put him in here. And there's nothing else I can put in his house for now, because everything else is miscellaneous. Unknown. But I'm going to go see Matt Show. Matt Show! Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, Doug, I missed you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. Hello. If you see my big bro, tell him you didn't see me, okay? I'm counting on you. How should I rebuild Nolan? Fighting is what a man should live for. It's a basic fact of life, right? Hmm. What will happen when it's done? Hmm, that you should ask my big bro. Tell me how to rebuild your house. Look, don't forget to expand my room and the barbell. Put that outside, is it? Very well. I think when he says fighting is part of a man's whatever, I think what he's referring to is that he wants to have his house next to the... I'm trying to get into... There we go. Ooh. Took way too long. He wants to have his house next to here. Right next to Divine Beast Cave. Let's see if he's happy now. Is that better? Yeah, Macho, he likes to come out and fight. Listen to me, looking at Claude's flab just irritates me, man. He doesn't understand how a guy ought to be. Ah, uh, he's saying the same thing. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm gonna worry about it later. Maybe when his big brother comes around, then I'll worry about it. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head back. Ooh, look at all the stuff I got. I got more bread and I've got water and I've got everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head back to the dungeon. And I'm not gonna come back until maybe a couple of floors, just so I can get everything over and done with very quickly. Divine Beast Cave. I realize I made a silly mistake. I was supposed to wait a minute. What? No! I've lost Jan's crest. Well, that's so annoying. It's so unfair. Oh, so you're supposed to use Jan's crest, and then proceed to the next floor. Oh, I'm, that makes me so angry. I'm just gonna kill it. Oh, I still haven't found that damn crest. But I have found these giant treasures, so that makes it good for something. It's locked. Forcing it open may activate a trap. Ugh. Let me guess the trap. I guess, uh... I guess it's a curse, because I can't really afford to get cursed right now. Yay, I got it right. And what did I get? Ooh, Gladius. Well, that's good. It makes it worth it. But should I test my luck with another one? And I'm gonna guess that this one is an explosion. Damn it. Alright. I know what you are. Oh boy. Well. I am going to... Alright, so I'm no longer poisoned, but at least I got two swords, so that kind of makes up for it. And it's going to make it slightly easier to kill all these people. Yeah, which one is better? Attack. That is. Okay. Now, I'm going to avenge myself. Avenge myself. I am going to get revenge for all the suffering and pain that they made me do the same level twice. Ah! Yeah! And goody! I've got it! I've got the Trans Chris again! I can finally proceed to the second level. So, there's a lesson for you boys and girls. Always use your Trans Chris before leaving. And you can leave here. So, yes, if you finish the level, always use the Dram's Crest before you continue. Like I'm going to do right now. I'm going to continue to the next floor. Because I want to get this dungeon finished. Whoa. Oh my god. It's a cat. Come back. Come back, kitty. Here you go. Come back, god damn it! You! You killed Kitty! Bread. At least I won't get hungry. But it's shh. Alright, bat. Calls me no end of trouble. I teach you how to fly. Damn. Whoa. Get back. Whoa. That's way too close. Wait, 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 too close. I really don't want this thing. This 
sword to die, to break. Uh, two, two of the most satisfying things in video gaming. Seeing an Atla and opening up an Atla. Barbell. Well, that's going to make the March show happy. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? Come on, show. Okay, so I've got a spider. Whoa! Oh. Yamak. I believe that is some sort of Russian folklore monster. Wow, that didn't stand a chance. Huh, I was really scared there for a second. There's nothing. There's nothing. I got a treasure key. Well, I already opened tre two, tre two treasure chests before. Because I tried my luck. Bomb nuts. Sounds tasty. I'm not gonna go there. I don't think I need to go there yet. So I played, uh. Yeah, I played the show out of this game when I was younger. And then I played Dark Cloud 2. But here in New Zealand, it's not called Dark Cloud 2, it's called Dark Chronicle. And it was good, but it didn't do the same for me. Take this. And I've already got the Grand Spirit! Woohoo! Yay, triumphant! Alright, who else wants to... Alright, Yannick. God. I always overestimate you, you only take two. It's locked. Forcing it open may activate a trap. However, no need, for I have a treasure chest key. The, the thing is unlocked. Oh my god, I've got another basil art. I've got so many swords. I can't believe how many swords I have. Lamp. Oh, wow, that's, that's, that's fantastic. I've got a lamp. It's just what I've always wanted. A lamp. I'm not going to kill those people because I don't need to. I can't even be bothered. Sometimes when I play this game, and this dungeon just goes on forever and ever, and honestly at times I, I just want to get it over and done with quicker. And if that means skipping a treasure chest here and there, I'll take it. Especially considering how I had to backtrack that whole level one. Yeah, hello. Oh my god, a mellow banana. I love mellow bananas. I can't stand uptight bananas. I love my bananas nice and yellow. I, I need to remember that. That thing only takes one hit to die. Ooh, cave bat. I think you all that. But you ain't. Ooh, two Atla. I got two big balls. Annex room. Oh, that's for Macho's house. Or command shows house, one of them. One of them owns it. Map. I suppose Donald Trump wouldn't be too happy with me bringing the Mark shows back. That's not exactly like Mexican people. Gaffer's buggy. Ah, yes, Gaffer. I think I can trade with that guy. Gaffer. God, he is easy. Ah, what a mess. Alright, punks, make my day. Whoa! Alright, bitch. Hey, over here. Darn my sword. Uh, well, I might as well repair it now, because I'm nearly to the end of the level. In fact, I can't re Wait, what? No, I don't have any! Oh well. That's okay. I'm just gonna click this atlet, and then go down to the third... Uh, open the... 
gate, and then I am going to go back and get some more. Repair powder. Oh. It took me so long playing this game to figure out if our main character was in fact a boy or a girl. I just didn't know. I did not know. I had no experience with the wacky world of anime where the boys look like girls and the girls look like even more girly than girls. It was a weird time. At Mola. So long, sucker. Leave dungeon temporarily and I'm gonna get me some of that. Escape powder. Ah, yeah. Alright, Macho Man. I'm gonna give the Macho Man some of his anti and I'm gonna put it right in here. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna put Comancho in the house and. You know, I'm going to give Comancho a, um, Macho Man voice, because I can. I, I should have really given it to him. Okay, Macho's going to have the Macho Man voice, and Comancho's going to sound like a Mexican guy. Deal. I'm going to put this barbell in here. And, uh, yeah, I'll put Gaffer's buggy somewhere. I'm just going to put it here. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. I'll put the and get the road and put it back in there and there and then what else can we put we can give them a lamp and pike ah page that's right now I remember his name uh, her name I should say gaffer Uh, let's see how my shows are going. Whoa, where are they? Where is everybody? Hello? My shows. Where you at? Ah, uh, they must be outside. I forget, they actually roam around. Wherever. Ah, oh, there he is. Come on, show. Thank you, Doug. Say, what happened on the day of the festival anyway? I remember a light flashed from the sky. And the houses disappeared. And after that, I don't remember a thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember anything. Wait a minute, don't you need to know... Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Hello? Did you see my little brother, Macho? Yeah, he's right over there. How shall I rebuild it? Nolan. I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. What will happen when it's done? I'll give you something, but I'll keep it a secret for now. The hint is rock-breaking strength. Tell me how to rebuild your house. A fence and a lamp would be nice. We had stuff any decent person would have, you know. I think I have both of those. I can do it now. Aha. Uh -huh. The third most satisfying feeling in game history is when you finish building the house. Event. Let's go see how they are doing. Well, Doug, you've done it. Thanks to you, our house is back to normal again. Here, this is for you. Keep it. Stonebreaker. Oh, I can put that on my sword. Here we go. Hey, that's mine. Hey, bro. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? 
Like I always tell you, what's yours is mine, what's mine is mine. That's how things between big brothers and little brothers should be. Grrr, I can't take this anymore, bro. We're gonna have to sail this with a bell. <clears throat> oh, really? Ready when you are. Ugh, doing much of a man's voice. Gives me a sore throat. How does he do it? Awkward. I'll come back later. I'm just glad that they're happy again. Oh yes, that's right. I have to go back and get some supplies. Hello, Mayor. Can't talk. Need supplies now. This looks to be no easy task. I put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Be careful, okay? I don't know why I gave him Canadian accent back then. May I get these accents a little? Well, look. I've been playing this for, I don't know, like an hour or something. And I gotta say, it's still fun. So, that's it for now. And I might continue in another episode. But until then, yes, I can confirm Dark Cloud is still fun. And it's still one of the best games on the PS2. Thank you, and goodbye.